so at the last video we got to this point um, I should have probably named a few components before I duplicated my frames so I'm going to delete the frame and that's to right click and delete um, and I'm going to expand this one and I'm going to name my components here so leg um, let's call that leg right um, top rail leg left and bottom rail now I'm going to right click and go um, copy and right click and go paste new and pull that one out to, to this point um, you can come a little bit further up and um, so now you can see the frames here and here I'm going to just condense that one down so I've got my three different connectors so they've automatically when we've pasted them go on one two and three um, and we've got the two frames the next point is we are going to join this together so I'm going to click um, the activate bubble at the top here and let's do some um, joins here so I'm going to click the join feature sorry I just paused my video so I'm going to restart that um, we're going to go to um, join so um, we're going to join these together um, the first one I'm going to do is this one and I'm going to join it from this edge now this gets a little bit tricky to decide which edge you're going to join it from so I've done right in the center of this edge um, I might decide that's a wrong move in a second um, we want to try and connect it to one of these edges so because we've got a three mil radius on here it's going to be a little bit tricky um, I might have to come down either come up to this very top corner like that or I can come down to the center I think the top corner might be the best option we'll give it a go and it might end up wrong so at the moment it's flipped my design so I'm going to come down and you might need to expand this little mode here and we go flip um, we'll rotate and we'll just see what's going on here so it's uh, 3 mil in here so if I zoom right in it will help for this process and I'm going to step at minus 3 mil back we'll look directly at the left um, it might not be the left to you, it might be the right or the side, um, sorry, the front or the back. Um, and that's looking good. I'm going to pull that this one down so it's level. So at the moment it's 15 mil down. Um, I need to look at my plan. We're going to go 30 mil down from that. So um, if you're good at maths, you can just go 15 plus 30. Um, if you get more complicated numbers, you can just go minus 30 on there. I'm going to go plus 30 because it went in the opposite direction to what I thought. So um, that should now be a 30 mil gap in there. So the joining process is a little bit complicated, but they should move together now. Um, while I've got that process in my mind, I'm going to do the other side. So join, scroll in, and I'm going to do this flat side. So you can see how it's, it, this little symbol changes depending on where you're hovering in mouse. So I want it on the actual flat side same with this one so here you can kind of get this axis bit here but we want it to sit on the flat like that one it's flipped over again it hasn't taken the other one with it which is weird we're going to flip it we're going to look directly from the side view we're going to make sure it's that minus three so in this this orientation it's actually in a positive um, and we're going to drop it down so it's level with the top and then we're going to um, take another 30 off that so it drops down so 45 now that's a bit confusing because that's that one's in the way but you can see that that bar has joined if you miss that um, I'll show you on the other side but fast forward a little bit if you don't need that help I go straight down to minus 45 this time because I know it's there. Whoops. 
And for this one, I don't need to do the other side because it's already locked into this one and the frames locked together over the other side. So um, we're all good for that one. This one here should be a little bit easier. Let's have a go at it. So join, zoom in. I'm going to do the center top. Just make sure the, the symbol is pointing upwards rather than kind of sideways. Now this should snap to the middle here, so you can see these little dots in here, so like that, but we're still going to need to move it, so flip it and move it back minus positive three. So that's my metal frame done. Um, pretty simple pro process. A um, couple of things we can do from this point here. So um, if we wanted to extend these bars here, um, because we did a copy paste for these connectors, I can come in here, expand one, I can double click on this one and you won't be able to see down the bottom so I'll just move my screen. So I've gone from the selecting bubble here to the connector one and click the bubble here. Um, that's activated the component and when that happens just watch this end bar here. So we've got our timeline or feature tree. It changes from that to just the features that were made um, to make that connector bar. I'm going to go to the um, extrusion and let's go like, oh, we want this 1250 long. You don't have to do this, this is an example. You can see that that's automatically changed, so all our connections are the same. We can activate that top bar and you can see that it is uh, kind of a longer design now. Um, I'm going to press Control Z twice to bring it back to our size. Um, it looks a little bit skewed or funny in that view, so um, I can change my camera angle. I'd, be reluctant always model in this orthographic view but perspective kind of looks cool if you're trying to do a rendering or make it kind of look interesting um, it gets a little bit messy if I want to change the height um, just the way we modeled it because we did a paste new rather than a paste um, just a straight paste which copies the component but if we want to change the height I need to locate this sketch here so under the frame activation come down to sketch Click the sketch here. Um, we have moved it away from that sketch, which is um, not the best look. I'm going to double click this one here and we can change the size in here. Um, so, if you wanted to change the height to 700, you could try that. Um, and then deselect your sketch and you'll have to do the same because it will create a bit of an error. So, you come down and do the same to this sketch. Um, it's not the perfect way to. To model but if you want a really quick model that will get it up and running the next process is to create a um, technical drawing